So on the uh, test database, you know, we have a simple form. We have a start location, finish location. These fields are referenced on the script for street address one and street address two. So for example, uh, if you edit the application and go to your form, street address references a street. The street on the second location references street one. So if you were to change the deluge name, you would have to update the deluge name on the formula here on, on the script. So if you were to change the deluge here to a street 33, then you would have to update the, the street reference on address one to 33. So you're ch changing the name of the field that the script references. But if you don't, if you if you create a form with the same name street on the deluge name, you can name this whatever you want. But the deluge name has to be mapped equal to what we have on the script so that everything works as, as expected. Okay. So other than that, um, you just need to get your uh, Google key. And to do that, you just go to the Google developers guides, get a key, click on the blue button and follow the steps to get, um, to get your key. Once you get it, uh, just come back to the script and replace this number here. And you're good to go. Um, let's do a test. Um, the script is saved under the workflow function with the name calc distance. So this is the name of the function right here. It's on the section API. You can see it here. Name of the function calc distance. And then we send the ID of the record of the form so that we can get the results back here in this, in, in this form. Okay. And let me do a test so that you see it, how it works. Okay. So we're going to enter, let's see, 201 Galler Street, Seattle. We can do 98104. And then let's do Henderson. A long distance, but at least we'll be able to see what you know how many kilometers are there between the two cities. So you're in Vegas. <laughs> okay. So the data was added successfully, we can get the report and we can see here from the state of Washington to the state of Nevada, these two zip codes, there is a distance of 1825 kilometers. Um, and that's how you calculate the, the, the value between two, um, two records and what the script does is once you get the result from Google. We, trans we transfer the result to an XML data file and we extract that text value that we got from Google. We remove any, you know, uh, strings or letters that may be attached to it. And then we map it back to the distance calculation form uh, with that result. And, and that's what it does. You know, we, we give the parameters we get the data from Google, we convert the result to an XML data file, we extract the text version, remove all the numbers and symbols and everything, uh, actually remove all the letters and symbols, and we get only the result and the numbers, and we map it to the, to the record. So once, once, you can, uh, once you have this installed, you can run this function in pretty much any form in where you can have two different addresses, have the calculation and then get a number back into your form. Okay, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.